Today we got a new battery from Rododo. It's their new 12 volt 100 amp hour group 24. Let's open it up. Our manual packet, our M8 terminal bolts. All right, and there's the battery. So we're finally getting more and more batteries that are in this smaller form factor case, this group 24 form factor. And that's definitely a welcomed improvement. You know, we've all seen the bigger cased batteries and when we open them up, there's just so much room in there. That's just wasted space. So this is very nice. Uh, but yeah, it's your typical smaller group 24 size. All right, so we're gonna get this guy charged up and then we'll get right into a capacity test. And there we go, we're charging at 29 amps. All right, so the battery's fully charged now. We've got our shunt hooked up so we can do a capacity test. So let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And that'll start the test. We've got the heater on low. And we're pulling 55 amps, 726 watts. We'll just let that continue and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, guys, so the inverter is over here screaming. Let's go ahead and turn it off. All right, so we got to 105 amp hours, 1,339 watt hours. So this battery pulls full capacity and beyond. All right, let's get a weight on this battery. And we've come in at 21.4 pounds. All right, so let's tear this thing down. Uh, I've already got the lid cracked open here, so we just need to right the rest of the way and there it is and let's see what we got uh, as you can see there's clearly much less wasted space there's a little bit but uh it's nowhere near as bad as uh, the bigger cases and so we've got uh, three 10 gauge silicone jacketed wires for the negative and we've got uh, one six gauge silicone jacketed wire for the positive. Our BMS says Rododo on it. Nothing else on there that really makes any kind of sense. Just model numbers, serial numbers, things like that. I'm only seeing a high temperature switch right here. So this is not going to have low temperature charging protection at least I don't see a thermal probe I see the balance wires here so we got one two three four five which is how many you need for a 4s battery like this pretty much it maybe we can get these cells out let me try Oh, hey, we're in there. Woo! Packed real tight. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right, so nice high density foam all around. Good job. Uh, the one on the top here has the holes for the vents. Very good. See if we can't find some QR codes somewhere. Okay, there's a clear one right there. Let me see if I can scan that. There we go. Hey, check it out. We got an EVE cell here. So we've got EVE, lithium iron phosphate, LF100L. 100 amp hour production date 
It says 26-6-2003. I think that's, I think it's clearly backwards. It's 6-26-2023. Very nice. Uh, I haven't seen Eve cells in these inexpensive batteries yet, so that's pretty neat. We got insulated material between the cells. The cells are strapped together with this plastic banding material. We've got these plastic corners on the end. Uh, you know, too bad it doesn't have low temperature protection that I can see, but it's a great build. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think about this battery. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I uh, wish the best to you and your families. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.